Hey, this is Chris from Baha'i School. Welcome back. So uh, first up is the uh, Ryobi compressor. All right, it took about a minute 30 for it to fully um, fill up. Now let's check how long it takes for it to fill the tire from 16 to about 35 PSI. All right, we'll start by checking the pressure. It's at uh, 16. And I'm gonna set a stopwatch. And as soon as I turn this on, I'm gonna start the timer. It's gonna inflate, and then I'll just start uh, inflating the tire from there. So it took a total of uh, five minutes, three seconds, and uh, I thought it was a uh, pretty good. So let me set my stopwatch. Zero seconds. It's at 16 psi. I don't think you guys can see it, but we'll put start. Forty-five seconds. The car honked. When the car honks, that's when it reaches a uh, thirty-five psi. Pretty easy. This goes in here. All right. How to use both hands? So once it's on there, pull on it. Just make sure it's not loose. So when you do open it, it shoots out. This is your uh, psi. I like to keep it at one hundred and fifty because the um, this hose can handle two hundred. But I mean, I'll just stay on the safe side. Keep it one hundred and fifty. Uh, this is to read your PSI. Anyways, uh, so here's a little knob. It tells you close, open, and uh, let me open it. See how it shot up? Now, get it to the right PSI. No, it's working it's hooked up right there I don't have to compressor and to put it away make sure it's nice and tight and then go the other way it has these little valves so it'll let out the excess air once it's nice and shut you don't have to twist it all the way don't don't overdo it Make sure you have no pressure, and uh, you can lift this up. Again, I mean, you need both hands to do that. Lift this up, comes out, and it's uh, ready to store. So, you know, the clear winner here is uh, CO2. And at first, I, I, I was really rooting for that uh, Ryobi compressor. I thought it was gonna be really nice uh, as far as uh, how much money I would spend from the Ryobi to the CO2 tank. It was uh, roughly the same, give or take uh, $20 of a difference. Uh, the reason I went uh, with Ryobi first was actually because of having uh, a couple of different batteries. That way, you know, I'd have portable power and at the same time I could use that compressor. But when I put it to the test, uh, I didn't like the numbers. You know, it's about five, let's just leave it five minutes. Five minutes to fill up four tires. That's 20 minutes. So if I have to do that like around uh, eight times during one trip, you know, that's quite a bit of time. So for eight times, I would have to stop and inflate my tires, 
with the Ryobi uh, compressor it would take me roughly two hours and 40 minutes and with the CO2 if I were to uh, inflate each tire eight times it would take me 24 minutes so that's a lot of difference so that means that you know the CO2 is 10 times faster versus uh, the Ryobi compressor so um, let's talk about the Ryobi compressor it's a pretty good compressor as far as you know for it being a one gallon honestly um, if you were to give me an option of the co2 tank versus the ryobi compressor i would pick the co2 tank all day um, but let's talk about uh, the ryobi compressor so the good thing about the ryobi compressor is that basically you only kind of pay once because um, it's just the compressor and the battery and of course you know you buy a couple extra batteries so when i first bought this uh, let's flatten uh, both them, both of them out at 250. So let's just say I paid for the Ryobi and the, the batteries, uh, 250. And I got a special on it at Home Depot. So for those 250 that I got, um, I had uh, I had three batteries, uh, 4.0, and then one 2.0 battery each 4.0 battery I could um, inflate four tires from 15 all the way to 35 uh, psi so that means I could get uh, approximately um, three and a half uh, refills for my tires with the Ryobi tank but you know I can recharge them when I get home so I don't have to spend any money so I'm always gonna be at 250 at least for a while um, until those batteries die out now the co2 tank if you look at the list it tells you that you can fill about 33 tires one 10 pound co2 tank I could fill um, each tire from about 15 to 35 psi approximately eight times the problem here is that uh, once I fill it those eight times I have to go back and um, where I went it was a uh, Praxair so it cost me $28 to refill and I could either leave my tank or do an exchange but of course I wanted to use my own tank because uh, it's brand new so you know if you go it, it's just like a trade-off you know it's you spend a little bit more but you're gonna uh, inflate your tires a lot faster you know you know if I go the Ryobi way I would take 20 minutes to fill my four tires you know it's not that bad but if you go in a group and uh, that person doesn't have a compressor which in my case uh, the people that I go with they don't have a compressor and it would be kind of messed up if only I were to inflate my own tires and leave them hanging so it would take me about 40 minutes uh, to get back on the road now with the co2 tank I can go back on the road in um, from from four to six minutes back on the road versus 40 minutes you know um, one of the reasons that I like the co2 tank versus the uh, Ryobi is that um, if you're on the trail and your tire blows and you got to rebeat it the co2 tank has the power to rebeat the tire you know and if you have like a little uh, compressor or those other little ones it's not gonna have enough power to, to push it back on there personally I have cordless power tools but for you guys that uh, are running uh, you know air tools you can take them because the co2 can run uh, 200 psi and it'll easily pick up those uh, air tools they both have their pros and cons um, buying a compressor you're not gonna have to go back and refill it every once in a while but you are gonna take longer um, if you go the co2 tank route you know it's gonna be a lot faster and initially you are dropping a lot less money um, especially if you do it uh, yourself there are brands out there like uh, smitty built that offer um, a little bit more cheaper than power tank but you know they do the same thing some have um, lifetime warranty some you know so it's just do you want to initially spend more uh, do you want to drop a little bit more money and have that lifetime warranty I built my own but I know that the products that I used are made in the US so they have a little bit more quality than you know these other brands that 
their regulators are made in China. And like I said, you know, if, if you really don't care about how long you're gonna take out there because you're by yourself, just keep your little compressor, it, it's perfectly fine. But if you're kind of like me and you go to a couple different spots and sometimes uh, people tag along, you know, you're gonna want to save a little bit of time because, you know, it's eventually gonna stack up. So the, for me personally, the clear winner here is uh, the CO2 because of its versatility as far as you can use it to blow out your um, your truck bed, you can use it for air tools, you can rebead your tire, uh, you get a lot of uh, refills if you go with the 10 pound or if you want to go a little bit bigger with the 20 pound. I went with the 10 pound because honestly I should be good for 8 refills. I don't think I'm ever going to have to refill my tires 8 times um, when I go out but you know for those of you that do go out a lot and you know you guys want to share uh, air you know get that 20 pounder just be sure that you know it'll, it'll go with what you got because they are heavy they are um, they are pretty big be sure to check them out before you even go with them well I hope you guys like this video let me know if you guys have any questions like always um, I'm here to help you guys out if you guys want me to talk about a specific topic, uh, shoot me a message, shoot me a comment, and uh, if you leave me a like and uh, subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, stay safe.